Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. We're going to show you in this video how to replace the CV axle on a Dodge Caliber. This one is a 2007, but I, I think it's the same for from all the way from 2007 all the way to 2012. So we're going to demonstrate on the right side of the vehicle, right here, the passenger side, but it is almost the same identical procedure for the left side as well. So for this purpose, you need to uh, put the vehicle on jack stands, safety first, never rely on the jack itself and <clears throat> you need to take the tire off the side that you're working on and after you remove the tire that safety pin right here you need to straighten it and push it out of the hole with pliers like that, collect all those stuff in order and now this is the uh, the, the nut that we will need to remove with one inch and one quarter. We are going to use the impact, but if you do not have impact, you can use a brake over bar and one person holding the brakes inside the vehicle, and this way you'll be able to take the nut loose as well. So take it off, okay, like that. And there is a big washer that you need to remove as well. Okay, now we need to remove the nut for the uh, outer tire rod right here. It's with 18 millimeter wrench or socket. And <clears throat> what's gonna happen now, we're, we're taking it off, you can use even an impact. But when you put it back together, you need to use a 9 millimeter right here with the ratchet on top of it. Like that, so you can get it tight later because the bolt will be loose and will be spinning freely. So you need to hold with this one and prevent the bolt from spinning. Okay, now you can just go ahead and remove it like that, all the way. And now never hit this bolt with the hammer to make it loose. Hit it right here on that cast iron, right there. It just... Okay, and it came off. It might take you out, depends if it's been removed or not. Next, we will need to remove the sway bar ring from the top right here. And this is with a 15 millimeter wrench or socket. And as you can see, you won't be able to get it done with the socket. So what we need to do is get a wrench and a hex key that fits right here inside to hold it and prevent it from, from spinning. Okay, now you can just use the hex key right here and with the wrench, you need to take the nut off all the way. Okay, and we remove the bolt, uh, the nut and the sway bar link out of there. Okay, now there is two ways to do that. You can remove these two bolts and pull the hub this way or the bottom bolt right there. Let me show you this one right here. But this one is a pain in the butt most of the times. It's really hard to get off. They tend to rust bad. So now with a 13 millimeter socket, we just need to remove the bracket, this bracket for the hoses right here. And next thing that we'll need to do with a 10 millimeter socket, we'll need to remove the sensor for the ABS. Okay, right there. It's just a little bolt. And just pull it out, careful not to break it. And this bracket right here, that clamp that's holding it, you need to push it out of there with a, with a flathead screwdriver. Now right there with 13, 16, so writing 21 millimeter, you need to take the two big nuts off. Okay, we got both of them out. And now what you need to do, you need to push them out. You, We recommend using the nut, putting the nut on, on top of the bolt. So if you hit it gently with the hammer, you're not going to mess up the thread on the bolt. Okay, and we got them out. Okay, one of them. If they're too tight, just put the nut on them and the socket on top of the nut and hit it with the hammer, so that way you're not going to damage the bolt. Okay, the second, the bottom one. Coming out, it's really tight there. Okay, and now just careful not to break the wires. You might go away with it without removing it from here. And now, just hit the CV axle a little bit. Yeah. And this one is rusted pretty bad. Nice. 
Okay, right here. And now you just need to get it out in an angle. Really, really tight fit. Okay, right there. Okay, and it came down like that. And now we need to go ahead and just put one ball on the hub right here so it doesn't fall on you, just for safety. Okay, now we need to go with a pipe bar or a big screwdriver between the transmission and the CV axle. And you need to put a lot of pop out of there because there is one spring that holds it. Okay. It's, it's not an easy task. You might need a second person just pulling on the outside a little bit while you're applying pressure on both of them. It just comes out all, all itself because it's spring loaded. Okay, like that. Okay, this is the drive shaft. And right here is the spring that I'm talking about. It goes in a groove inside the transmission. And that's where the seal lies, right here. So if you have a leaking seal, okay, let me zoom in a little bit and show you there. Now it's the time to replace it because it's real easy and convenient. So that's how you remove the drive shaft CD axle on a Dodge Caliber. And you put it back together the same way we took it apart. If you have any questions, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like for about five new videos every week.